of beer tubers, Eric, coming at you with another beer review. And today we're going to be looking at something in a corked bottle from Cascade Brewing Company, another beer that was ever so graciously picked up for me from Casey of Blind Ninja Studios. Today, I am looking at Blueberry, which is a Northwest uh, style sour ale. This one is a blend of wheat and blonde ales that were aged up to 12 months before aging and fresh blueberries in an additional three months. It's hand packaged bottle is bottle conditioned. Sour ale should be served at 40 degrees, which is what I've got it at. Um, gosh, you know, this is the 2012 project, so it's pretty difficult to see, you know, really how old this beer really is, but I'm going to get into it. Miles, I owe you a different beer for us to share, but trust me, it'll be worth your money. And I know you just had this, so... Wow, quite the pop there. I'm going to use a Three Floyds uh, TQ here. Holy carbonation. There is the pour on the Cascade Blueberry. That's about a finger and a half, and that is dissipating quickly, I must say. But you would expect that from barrel-aged beer, sour beer, to an extent. It's just hissing away the carbonation. Anyways... I'm really excited into this one. I really like blueberry sour beers, so let's get the nose into it. There isn't a, an overwhelming amount of blueberry, actually. Um, not as much as I thought there would be. Uh, there's a lactic character. You can definitely smell a lot of the base beer, the blonde um, ale coming through, some oak tannins. Definitely, definitely you can sell, smell that it's sour, but it, it's not like uh, the other Cascade beer I just reviewed, Figaro, where it's just like overwhelmingly sour coming through the nose. This one just smells and looks really nice. Cheers. Taste, on the other hand. Woo! Again, not a lot of blueberry dominance. Um, there's faint blueberry hints, and it kind of meshes well with the base blonde beer, but really, really nothing that's jumping out at me. Um, it's not very sour either. Yeah, at least to me. Um, actually really, really disappointed. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm drinking this too late, not nearly fresh enough. I'm not sure, but at 20 bucks a pop for, oh Jesus, the Cascade Blueberry. Sorry, I'm not good with my left hand there. Um, yeah, very, very underwhelming. Color is really pretty. Appearance is really nice. That's about the best part. But uh, I'm going to actually cap off this bottle, homebrew-wise, and sit on it and drink some over the course of the next two days. Um, it's not something I can finish in one sitting anyways. Yeah, there's just not a lot there that screams great or screams value for the 20 bucks that was spent on this bottle. I'm really happy, Casey, that you picked it up for me so I could have it um, in a coherent state of mind. I had had it at Central Waters anniversary party and that was a long night. <laughs> so, hmm. It is dry and refreshing, but this is definitely one of the weakest offerings I've tasted from them. I'm going to go like a 87 out of 100. It just, just doesn't do it for me. Um, yeah. Uh, don't trade for it unless you're trading like non-equal value, which no one would ever do. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I hope to have a, another great Cascade beer in my near future, but don't know when that will be. So till next time, guys. 
always remember to respect beer, and I'll see you in another beer review. Cheers.